Now in this video, we will discuss how to find n derivative of a function of the form sine ax plus b. In order to save time, I have written the text al already in advance. So, let us take an example of y is equal to sine ax plus b. We have to find out nth derivative of this function. So, differentiating with respect to x, we get y1 a cos ax plus b. Now y1 may be written as a and since cos theta may be written as cos sine 90 plus theta, we may write cos ax plus b as sine ax plus b plus pi by 2. Let it be equation number 1 because in order to take the analogy, we have to bring back the trigonometrical ratio in the form sine. That's why we have converted this cos into sine by proper rule. So again we have to differentiate now equation number 1 with respect to x. So we get y2 is equal to a square because one more power of a we get after differentiating as you know well and we have y2 is equal to a square and this sign becomes cos because of differential cos ax plus b pi by 2 and in order to bring back this cos into sine again we need to uh, add pi by 2 in the angle so that sine theta plus 90 or 90 plus theta is equal to cos theta so we may write cos ax plus b plus pi by 2 as sine ax plus b plus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 so we may write it as a square sine ax plus b plus 2 pi by 2 and we must not cancel these two which we may which may be cancelled but because we have to take the analogy to find out nth derivative of the function we should not cancel these two similarly y3 next derivative y3 is equal to a cube sine ax plus b plus 3 pi by 2 as we have observed every time we differentiate the function one exponent is added to a and 1 pi by 2 is added to the angle so in the third derivative a square becomes a cube and sine ax plus b plus 2 pi by 2 becomes ax plus b plus 3 pi by 2. Similarly, pi by 4 is equal to a raised to the power 4 sine ax plus b plus 4 pi by 2 and so on if we proceed this process a number of times. So in nth derivative, if we differentiate it nth time taking analogy. What is analogy? Analogy is the process to observe the pattern of the expression so that we may write nth value of the differential so as we see the exponent of a is 1 in y1 exponent of a is 2 in y2 exponent of a is 3 in y3 4 in y4 so exponent of a in nth derivative must be n. Now take the analogy in the angle of the trigonometrical ratio. So in the first derivative in the angle we observe there is 1 pi by 2 in addition in addition to ax plus b. In the second derivative there is 2 pi by 2 in addition to ax plus b. In third derivative 3 pi by 2 in fourth derivative 4 pi by 2 so in nth derivative it should be nth pi by n pi by 2 so this way 
we may write nth derivative of y that is y n which is equal to a raised to the power n sine a x plus b plus n pi by 2. So this process is called the process of analogy. So this is how we find nth derivative of a function